Hello everybody, my name is Nature the games we love like and today we are here with a new um what's the word? Reaction video. <laughs> so smart. Anyway, so we are going to be watching Roll Dolls Tell the Unexpected The Landlady. Now, um I'm gonna be doing a little giveaway here. Well, it's not technically a giveaway, but um a random comment will get a chance to collab with me one day on any game of their choosing that I've done so far. Anyways, let's get started. So, I've heard of this before. I've read the book. It's not really the same. I don't think so anyways. I haven't watched it yet, so we're going to find out. Anyways, um, friends told me uh, it was really creepy. I mean, it's a landlady. It's not really a creepy title. But let's find out anyways, so here we go. Traveling down from London on the slow afternoon train with a change of swing. Die, sleep you. Happy Goo Goo Day. He's getting pretty boring. <laughs> Same reaction. <laughs> so boring. Hmm. Jeez. Ooh. What? And the guy's still sleeping. Oh, well. <laughs> He's wake up like. Good for you, but nobody can. No. Nobody can. I've been assigned to our branch office. Make yourself sound like a puzzle. Oh. Mr. Greenslade, he's our personnel manager at head office in London. He says, uh, I'm just going to focus. I'm really sure. My funny oh, okay, I missed something. All this time has stopped. Bad. Oh, is that the scene? Why did you say bad? Oh, is she? Oh, is that the landlady? Oh, that makes more sense. I was about to say, like, this is your picture of Randy making bad. Like, what? Oh, That's a bit creepy. Mm -hmm. Could this be? It wins like a knife. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you could try the Bill and Dragon. Uh, straight down the road about a quarter of a mile. They might take you. Um, you can't miss it. Um, cheaper, of course. Can we just get to the part where he actually gets to the place? Cause, I mean, it's really boring. Like, oh, but biddy biddy blah. Oh, Bed and breakfast. Oh boy. It's a, it's a bird seed. Feel what? It's a pretty run down city. I mean, I just know that that car nearly ran him over and he didn't seem to care. But 
walking, man. So he's still walking. It takes so long. We skipped like six minutes of the video. Bed and breakfast. <laughs> it's not hard, guy. Yeah. Come on. Sleepy. You've made up your mind. Really? What is she doing? She's no stalking him. What is he doing? What a weirdo. Oh. Please come in. I haven't taken my finger off the bell. Okay. Don't come in. It's so cold out, isn't it? Uh, yes. But, um... You saw the notice in the window? It, yes, y yes, I did. I knew you would. Knew? That's why I put it there. You need a room. Well, yes, as, as a matter of it's fact. It's all ready for you, my dear. Uh, that is going weird. To the <laughs> all right, now Air I see why they said it was creepy. Ooh. They always telephone me when they are. We have a little joke about it. I'm their overflow, a sort of annex to the official hotel. Do come out of the cold. Come out of the coast. Oh, the door's wide open. Let all the gold in for him. Oh, excuse my asking, but four how? pounds. You won't find anywhere more reasonable, and that includes an egg for breakfast. Oh, well, that's fantastic. The Bell and Dragon charges more than double. But they're full anyway. Exactly, salesmen. What we used to call commercial travellers. I never take that sort of person. Do come. Chain at night. Safer. Welcome home, dear. Home? Home. I tell all my guests that to treat my house as home. Home from home, dear. Mm. Okay. Uh, That's weird. Really welcome there. home. Uh. Let me help you with your coat. Thank you very much. That's not weird or anything at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I expect you're from London, aren't you? That's right, yes. You find a bath so much more restful. Shall I lead the way? Oh, please. Oh, we have the house man. all to ourselves. The fact is, I'm just a teeny weeny bit choosy. Particular. Choosy you see what? what I mean. Yes. But I'm always ready. Be prepared, as we used to say in the girl guides. Mm. Everything's always ready here. Just on the off chance. Mm. And an acceptable young gentleman should come along. And it's such a pleasure when I do happen to open the door and see someone standing there who's just exactly right. <gasps> like you, dear. Okay. I think I may have picked the wrong video to watch. I think this is going somewhere that none of you... This floor is mine. <laughs> I shouldn't rely on that, dear. It stopped ages ago. I see. Quite. Do you intend to work in bar? Yes, I've been sent down to our branch office. What fun. Oh, no, after you, dear. It's your room. Wait, what's in the door next room? <gasps> Hell unexpected. Something unexpected is in there. Boom, boom, boom. It's super. It's very Watch, nice. I'm so glad you really like it, dear. The morning oh, sun comes right in the window, Mr. Perkins. It is Mr. Perkins, isn't it? Perkins. No. To no, Weaver. it's Weaver, as a matter Weaver of fact. Perkins. William Weaver. Of course, I didn't Mr. That Weaver. How silly of me. Weaver. Such a nice, reliable name, too. I've put a hot water bottle in your bed. It's such a comfort, don't you think? Oh, well, find a hot water, water bottle, bottle in this thing like an ice pack something. And do light the gas fire at any time if you feel chilly. Thank you. That's very kind. I'm so glad you materialized. I was beginning to get worried in case my inner voice had let me down. Inner voice? 
intuition, dear. In her but then, voice. just as I thought it had got too late, there you were. Now, how about supper? Oh, I'm not hungry, thank you. I had some sandwiches on the train. My mother made them. Ham and oh, watercress. How oh, nice. Plenty of iron and watercress. Good for the blood. So I think I'll just go straight to bed as I've got to get up rather early tomorrow, you see, so as to report to the office. Of course, dear. Oh, uh, the you-know-where is at the end of the passage. Well, I leave you to unpack. You and before you go where? to bed, what? would you be so kind what? as to go downstairs and sign the guest book on the piano? Everyone has to. It's the law of the land. And we don't want to go breaking the law, do we? Folks, is the bird if you hear the banging? Hmm. These names Gregory Temple and Christopher Mulholland. Very original. Yeah. Oh, such charming boys. They sound sort of familiar. Do they? Hmm. I'm sure I've heard of them somewhere before. Really? What fun! What? Was it in the papers? Oh, I shouldn't have thought so, dear. Perhaps they're famous. Footballers or pop stars. Famous, no. Never heard of they them. were extraordinarily handsome. That bird. And the dates. This entry's over two years old, and Christopher Mulholland's is nearly a year before that, July 75. How time does fly, Mr. Wilkins. Weaver. W-E-A-V-E-R. Oh, this is Silly, I do apologize. Weaver. In one ear, out to the other, that's me. Weaver, Mr. Weaver, Weaver, I must say. Twilight Zone or Alfred Hitchcock it's kind of, of peculiar, England. That's why see? they have the accent. Well, Holland and Temple sort of connect. You know, go together in my mind like, um... <laughs> Laurel and Hardy, you know? I don't, dear. Oh, you shouldn't have bothered. I'll... It was no trouble. Do come and sit down. Come on, Mama. That's right. By me, dear. Mulholland. Sugar? He was on a walking tour of the West Country and he... Uh, oh, uh, three lumps, please. He was a schoolboy at Eton. Oh, no, and... dear, that can't be right. My Mr. Mulholland was at Cambridge. He was an undergraduate. Oh. I feel like she's trying to change the subject. Oh, <gasps> no way. They disappear here. Ba -ba that'd be cool. That, that'd be Cozy. awesome. The fire isn't too hot for you, is it? I do hope you like China tea. It's very nice. Thank you. Dear Mr. Mulholland, such a one for his tea. I never saw anyone drink so much tea. <laughs> Has he stayed with you recently? Sweet boy. I know I saw his name in the papers. 
Oh. Oh, my. Oh. I like a ginger biscuit to be crisp. Mm. Mr. Mulholland is staying here now. And Mr. Temple. They're both still with me. Whoa. <laughs> Three years and they're still around. <gasps> Yo, they did disappear there then. <gasps> Wait a minute. Yeah, they had to disappear then because they're still there. That's impossible. Oh. Will I meet them? DV, as we say. God willing, dear. Oh. No, I don't know what that means. How old are you, Mr. Mr. Don't tell me. Wheel. Weaver. <laughs> there. Weaver. Oh, what a relief. Yes. 18. I'm 18. 18. Oh, it's the perfect age. Mr. Mulholland was 17 when he first stayed with me. Mm. He can't have. He can't have been. He was. But you can't go to Cambridge when you're 17. You can if you're clever, dear. He was terribly clever, a scholar, very studious. He was a trifle shorter than you, and his teeth weren't quite so white as yours. <laughs> you have the most beautiful teeth, Mr. Weaver. I, my dad calls them my whited sepulchres. <laughs> you should see the fillings at the back. <laughs> Mr. Temple was rather older. 28, in fact, but I'd never have believed him if he hadn't told me. He hadn't a blemish on his body. So what now? A what? Oh. His skin was just like a baby's. How do you Naughty. know that? Uh, no, thanks. And is she saying was? Are they dead or something? That parrot. chirping. When I first saw it, I you thought... You thought he was alive? Yes. <sighs> Alas, no. Poor Sinbad. What? That thing's dead? Oh, it's alive. Of it's course, thing. dear. Of course. Dead? Ooh. 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 Pretty poor. Oh. <laughs> Sinbad oh. always said that. So Sinbag full of names himself. a pet Sinbag. It's amazingly clever. Who did it? It doesn't look dead at all. I know. I did it, dear. You did? Yes. Oh, she stuffs she stuffed the bird. Oh, excuse me. I do feel This room does get very warm. Have you met Basil? Wait, you mean that thing was dead too? That's why he didn't bark when I came in. Basil was a terrible barker. Ooh. He feels hard. Must be awfully difficult to do a thing like that. On the contrary, no. Not a creature one has loved. That way one can go on loving him forever and ever. Oh, that and is ever. weird. <gasps> Wait a minute! I just came to something. Okay. So think of this, if Temple and Mulholland are still there, and she's good at stuffing things, does that mean they're stuffed and dead? Oh god, that'd be weird. That would be weird and really creepy if that happened. Oh. I'm sorry, I must sit down. When were they dead? You they did then? sign it, didn't you? Yes. Good. Tea. No, thank you. I stuff all my little pets when they pass away. I'm glad you remember the book, because later, if I forget, and you know now what a one I am for forgetting, I can always pop down and look it up. I still do that every day with Mr. Mulholland and Mr. Mr. Oh, they're gone again. Temple. I remember now. Tell me. Come on, little things. Tell, tell, tell it. I read. <gasps> Bedtime, dear. Uh, Up we go. They did disappear. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Nearly there. That's a good boy. If we go,
Do I have to do it? The teacher should be better. Quite, dear, exactly. Mm. Do I have your sleep? No. no. Okay, for those of you who are good at, like, science and stuff, there's a poison, it's called side-eye, and apparently it smells really like bitter almonds or something, and, like, they could just be assuming in this video, like, it tastes like it too, and, like, he's experiencing, like, the symptoms, yo, it ends up, like, going to paralysis, to, to paralysis and coma and death and stuff, no, I'm, I'm, I want, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but what if he, what if he ends up dying and then he gets stopped? Yeah. Oh, maybe that, that's pro, oh, yes, that explains the theory of what happened to Mahal in the temple. She gave them the tea, they died from the cyanide, and then she stuffed them. Yeah. Oh, we gotta watch the rest of the thing. I must breathe. The place where you was bad, Billy. Did she... <laughs> Wait a minute, did she undress him herself? That is weird! Who does that? Did you... Did you undress me? <laughs> of course, dear. Believe me, you're just as handsome as the others. No need to blush. You're beautiful. Wait, did she just check this pulse? Is he dead now? No freaking way. No freaking way. Sleep tight, Mr. Wilkins. Mulholland, can't you see that Mr. Temple wants to sleep? What? He's kissing dead bodies. What is wrong with that? boys. Somehow I got literally got all those conclusions right. I knew that someone was in the next door room. I knew like, they were. Never mind. I, I, knew, I knew the stuff that ended up happening. I mean, it, it was. I mean, it was unexpected, but I kind of knew it was probably. It's probably what happened. Anyway. She. He's gonna suffer. Oh God, he didn't really. Oh, he's Wow, that, that was that was actually really good. I'm surprised I actually got most of that facts though. Like something was in the next room. I was, it's a good thing I'm smart because I wouldn't have been able to get to that conclusion without that. Interesting. <laughs> Anyways, well, I guess it's the end. Thank you, everybody. My name is Nate Jade, and I'll see you next time. Where's the up button? Oh yeah, here it is. See ya.